since our freshman year, getting that trophy back. So it's nice to, I don't know, leave, I guess, leave the place a little bit better than you found it. So yeah, super excited. Um, it's it's such, such a small canyon, you know, but it's cool to celebrate and, is, and uh, take pictures. Is with this me. the high point of your Illini career? You feel like this team's finally due for a tournament? Oh yeah, I mean, I was talking to Reggie after the game. I was like, this is what we came here for. You know, we planned to do this, um, you know, win Big Ten games and I'm obviously, you know, <laughs> Didn't, didn't go as we planned, you know, the first few years, but it's fine. It's good to, like, you know, end our careers on, on a high note. Do you feel like the tide is turning? And if so, why do you think it is? Yeah, I think the team's just meshing together. We're starting to understand um, just the, the coaches' expectations, and we're, we're just really, I guess, you know, clicking as a team right now. And it's cool. You can see it out there, you know, offense, defense, special teams. Um, we, I thought we played pretty well today. How much confidence does it give the offense when your defense is going out there and balling like they were today? Oh yeah, yeah, super exciting. I mean, we know we, we know we got to do a better job with field position, but it's just cool to see them make plays and you just kind of feed off that energy. And Tony Adams got that interception. You know, it, it kind of went from like, how's the game going to go to like, oh, we're about to we're about to win this game. And we knew it after that. Kind of look up at the sky today and go, this is going to be a Dre Brown, Rich Corbin type of game today. Oh yeah, yeah. Coach Coach Rod knew that. Uh, he told us like, "Hey man, we're gonna we're gonna run the ball." And I, I remember in like the fourth quarter, said we had like seven pass plays. And I was like, "Wow, like that's that's pretty cool, you know." So to, in order to win a game, a Big Ten game like this in, in the pouring rain, um, it just you take a lot of pride in that. You know, the O line just did a tr tremendous job. I really just ran, you know, as, as fast as hard as I could, but. Yeah, credit to the O-line, the coaching staff for getting us ready. When you guys were two and four, you, you still felt like you were level-headed. And What does it mean to get this kind of breakthrough a little bit and you yeah. know, build off that Wisconsin? Yeah, two and four is hard because, you know, you could we could have easily said, oh, we should be five and one, you know, six and oh or whatnot. But, yeah, just it's a testimony to the team, you know, like never going to give up. And it's, it's, it's cool to see us hitting our stride at the right time. Especially, uh, like, on a day like today, just how much is a game like this decided at the line of scrimmage? Oh, yeah, it's everything. I mean, this is... This is kind of old school Big Ten football, I guess. You know, running the ball, um, not not a lot of passing, and so uh, yeah, our, our line takes pride in that, and they just they, they killed it today. Trey, there was a lot of talk about you guys having to come off that emotional high from last week. Mm -hmm. What does it say about you guys being able to do that today? Oh yeah, yeah. Just as a team, we we were talking like, hey, if if we lose this game, it doesn't Wisconsin really doesn't mean much. Yeah, it's a memory, but you know. Nobody's gonna take us serious, and now so now we're trying to you know give the Big Ten like hey you know we're we're, we're for real and we're just gonna keep building off this win. What's your what's your message to the rest of the Big Ten? You think after, what do you think you kind of tell the rest of the Big Ten after yeah. one? I mean I think we just showed it on film. You know we're 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 a good team, and uh, Coach Smith has told us the entire year, and it's good to like finally see that you know coming out. Do you allow yourself or your teammates to talk bull bit at this point, with only being only two wins short? Uh, I mean, we try we we try to take out a one game approach, but our goal right now is obviously to make a bowl. You know, if we, we see the we see the rest of the season's games, but you know we're kind of focused on Rutgers coming up, and if we can continue just to win one one game a week, you know, we'll put ourselves in a good spot at the end of the season. What would three Big Ten wins in a row kind of mean for you after all of these years of turmoil and oh, yeah. you know two win seasons and stuff yeah. like that? I mean, yeah, that's a game changer. Like I, I don't even know if I've ever been a part of that. Um, I don't know when's the last time Illinois won three Big Ten games, so. Yeah, I mean, definitely it could be like a program changer, you know, and especially all the recruits out there, all the fans, you know, seeing like, hey, this team has won three Big Ten games in a row, like, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty legit, I guess.